and I welcome to my channel. This is is good store and what I do here is solve technical problems and also provide very important information that can make you solve for you to have better performance in your technical drawing examinations. And you're watching my video for the first time. I want to ask you to subscribe to this channel, put on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified and help me to share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students. And do not forget to practice. This subject, this is a practical subject. You need to practice it. So right now I want to provide answers to uh, the first or uh, the uh, 40 questions in uh, this technical drawing uh, examination question, which is uh, 1999 uh, West African Examination Council exam. So I'll be providing answers to question one to 40. The first 30 questions, the general question on geometrical drawing and uh, question 31 to 40, is for the building drawing. So let's go and see what we are uh, to do here, okay? Um, here we have question one that says that, what is the distance labeled P in the diagonal scale shown above? So the distance, uh, the distance of the, this, uh, the, uh, sorry, the answer of the uh, labeled part P is 1.89, 1.89, okay? That is option C. So question two says that, what is the ratio of figure P to S in the diagram above? So the answer to this question is option C, that is one ratio four. Then question three, what, which of the cut section of the cylindrical pipe shown above will show a rectangle as its true length. So the answer to this question is option A. So that will give us a rectangle. That will give us a rectangle in the elevation and also, sorry, in the end elevation. So question four says that if the exterior angle of a regular polygon is 72 degree, the polygon is a pentagon. That is option D. Polygon is a pentagon. Just divide 30 or 60 by 72 and that will give you five and that shows that it is a pentagon question five which of the following is the principle of archimedean spiral employed in its construction the answer to this question is option d a spring of a raised watch so question uh six which of the following angles can be transected using a pair of compasses the answer is option b that is angle 90 degree question seven in the helix the length of one complete turn is called the circumference. It's called the circumference. Uh, question, uh, question eight, which are uh, the, the isometric view of a casting is shown in the figure above. Which of the following options represent the correct front elevation and uh, plan of the casting? So the answer is option A. So look at it very well. Question nine, in dimensioning, in dimensioning, the line labeled K in the figure below is usually referred to as datum line. It's usually referred to as datum line. That is option B is the answer. Question 10, which of the options below shows the path traced by a point on the circumference of a circle that rose along a straight line without slipping? The answer is option A. So that is talking about a, the, the construction of the cycloid or the shape of a cycloid or the, uh, the trace of a point that moves along a straight line without slipping. So that's the cycloid. So the answer is option A. So question 11, which of the following statement is correct in respect of the figure shown below? The answer to this question is option C. So area of triangle AGFB is equal to the area of uh, area of sorry, area of rectangle AGFB is equal to the area of triangle ABC. So that is the answer option C there. So question question twelve, which of the following circles is concentric? So the answer to this question is option A is a concentric. We have some concentric circles here. So question thirteen. Which of the triangles in the figure below can be described as inscribed? That is option A. We have this triangle. This triangle is an inscribed triangle. Then question 
14. The similarity between a deltoid and a rhombus is that they are both pyelograms. That is option A. Question 15. Which of the following is not required in the construction of a parabola? Minor axis is not required in, in the construction of a parabola. So the answer is option C. So question 16, which of the following is an internal tangent? That's option A. So the answer is option A for that question 16. So question 17, to draw an ascribed circle of a given triangle, the first step is to extend one side. That is option D is the answer to that question. So question uh, 18, Two views of a truncated cylinder are, sh are given in the figure above with AA as the seam. Which of the options below, um, which of the options below shows the correct surface development of the cylinder? Okay, so the answer to this question is option C is the answer to this question. Okay, um, then, Question 19 says that the figure above shows the elevation of a, and a plan of two intersecting cylinders. Which of the following options represent the correct surface development of cylinder P? So the answer to this question is option B. So question uh, 20, which of the following shows the correct method of sectioning a machine part with a web? The answer is option B. To the, uh, is the answer to the question. Okay, question, question uh, 21. So the, the figure above shows the front elevation and plan of a rack, which of the following represent the correct end view at E. So correct end view at E is option A, it's option A. Okay, question um, 22 says that which of the options in the figure below shows a countersunk and tap hole? That is option B is the answer to the question. So question 23, in respect to the two circles centers O1 and O2 in the figure below, line AB is a chord. That is option B is the answer to that question. So question, 24, the front and end elevation of an object is given in the figure above, which of the following is the correct plan at X. The correct plan at X is option A. That is the plan for the diagram over there. So question 25, the figure above is an isometric view of a casting. Which of the options given below represent a correct plan of the casting. So the answer to the question is option C is the correct answer to the question. Then we have question 26. When a point moves such that the ratio of its distance from two fixed points is constant, then the path traced by the point is a parabola. That's option A is the answer to the question, question 27. Which of the options below represent a correct isometric projection of the block shown in the figure above. The answer to the question is option C. And then question 28 says that the figure above shows the front elevation and plan of a heaped roof, which of the following represent the true length of the hip rafter. The answer to this question as the true length of the hip rafter is option C, which is PK. That's what we have here. So question uh, 29 says that which of the options below is the correct auxiliary elevation of the block shown above, looking direction of arrow, looking direction of arrow X. So the, uh, the answer to this question is option B is the answer to the question. Then we have question 30 says that which of the following workshop tools is used for finding the diameter of a round bar. So the answer is odd leg caliper. That's option C is the answer to that question. Then we are done with the first 30 questions, which are a general question, as I said. We now move to uh, question 31 to 40, which is on the building drawing. So question 31 says that 
identify the type of roof. So this type of roof is known as lintel roof. That is option C, question 32. The roof member label key is the wall plate. So this is the wall plate. So question, <clears throat> so question 30 says that a site plan shows the cross section of a building. So uh, I'm taking option D for that. So question 34. The figure above shows a section through a building plan, a building foundation. Which of the following correctly identifies the labeled pictures X, Y, and Z in that order? The answer is X is a concrete slab, Y is ad core, and Z, Z is earth filling. Okay, so that is the answer. Option C is the answer to that question. So, question 35. The diagram below shows an elevation of a frame in a brick wall. What is the labeled member X called? It is called seal. That's option B. So question 36. In which of the following types of floor construction is a wall plate, uh, wall plate used? So the answer is option C, hollow timber floor. Then question 37. What type of foundation is shown in the figure below? So it's a part foundation. That is option D, question 38. So we're asked to use this figure to answer question 38 and 39. So the first question is this, uh, question 38 says that the type of stair shown above is half ton stair. That is option A. So question uh, 39 says that the part label Y is the, so part label Y is known as nowhere post. That is, this part is known as nowhere, uh, uh, nowhere, uh, nowhere post. So that is option B. Then question 40, which is the last question, says that which of the symbols below represent a resistor? So the answer is option B. So we'll answer question 1 to 40 on this objective question for 1999 technical drawing uh, work. So all you need to do is to practice. When you practice this subject, you surely know it. So thank you and keep on practicing. God bless you.